Welcome back to Doing It With Briggs. Today we're talking about... The Creator Studio. Yes, the most important website or app or page you will be dealing with in your YouTube career, I guess you could say. So the Creator Studio is where you're going to find all your stats, all your analytics. You'll see a lot of things like people leaving you comments. It's all there in Creator Studio. And I'm going to give you a quick runaround about that one. I'm going to tell you some warnings about it, which it can be addicting. And I've had some problems with it. Not like I'm, you know, out on a street corner trying to score another look at my creator studio or my analytics, but it's created some problems for me and my stress levels. So we'll get into that towards the end. But right now I'm going to poke around creator studio just so you know what you're looking at and what you should be looking at. Let's take a look. So when you first show up, you come to the creator dashboard, I guess it's called. And that's this first thing right here. And it's at the top. So you look at the dashboard. It just gives you a quick glance right up here. You got your typical how your last video did and probably one of the most stress inducing parts. This thing right here, it always ranks your last 10 videos, right? And if it's bad, it's a 10 out of 10. This one yesterday was pretty good or the other day when I record this one and it got a two out of 10. So that makes you happy. Sometimes when you look and you're getting nines out of 10 and tens out of 10, um, a lot of thoughts go through your head. The algorithm's out to get me. The algorithm hates me. The algorithm doesn't like me. The algorithm, the algorithm doesn't want me to succeed. All these thoughts go through your head. It builds stress on you and it will break you down a certain amount. Now, never think that the algorithm doesn't like you. If your video didn't do good, if your last three videos didn't do good, then the audience didn't like your videos you were doing. Plain and simple. I'm going to get into how the algorithm works later on. You know, they're very cagey about it and they don't really explain anything for good reason because people just start gaming it. But I'll, I'll give you the basics idea in another video. But right here on the channel dashboard is where you'll see the one out of 10 and how your video is doing. Of course, your subscribers are right here. Um, your top 10 videos, you know, it gives you all kinds of information. Now, ideas for you. This is new. You just poke around it and it gives you some things you should know. Now, this is Creator Insider. I told you about some channels you need to be subscribed to. This is one of them right here. So you can just click on there and, you know, it's like every Tuesday they have news. And I think whenever something changes, they have another video. So it's at least once a week, probably more. You can also see your latest comments right here, which is always helpful. That's where I see a lot of my comments because I get so many. I just sometimes glance at this and see if anything's interesting. And if it is, I'll respond. If not, I just move on. Of course, Here's my latest post, Q&A, 7 p.m., when we're going to do the live stream. And here's your recent subscribers. And you can go down here and click see all. You know, go date subscribed or subscriber count. Tiny House, Raymond, uh, some names I recognize here. AJ's Green Topics, Bang, Kong China Travel, Blackboard Gaming. Just my opinion. So, this is all where you'll see all the people that are subscribed. When you get to a certain point and you can uh, get people to join, you know, the membership thing, you'll also see uh, members next to subscribers. So you'll be able to click on that and see who's your new, are your new members and how long they've been with you, things of that nature. But, and then, yeah, so this is the first page. Now, of course, you want to go into your content which is here, and it just tells you some things about your last videos, which I spent a lot of time looking at this. Just kind of get an idea of where my audience, what's perking them up. You know, it's like, you go down, let's see where we start. Okay, so this, I started that about 2023, uh, my first attempt at doing this type of channel. Uh, but so here, 1,800, 1,100, 1,100, 1,000. So then we got this one, didn't do that well, good. Uh, so Protect your channel. Nobody cared about that. Avoid the 10,000 uh, YouTube scam. I didn't get as many views as I thought it would. I really thought that one was going to do better. But you learn a lot from just looking at that. But the real thing you're here for is, of course, the analytics. Now, analytics are very important to your channel, right? Now, if you, as you see, January 1st, and I've uploaded every single day since January 1st, and we are on the 17th. So... This is a good thing to look at. It tells you how many views you've gotten in the last, uh, or in this month. So only 19,000 on this. Give you an example. World Courting Briggs right now says like 6 million. No, not under the 17th. We'll probably say about 
four or 3.5 million right now. But right now this one's got 20,000 almost. And oops, this month alone, I've gained just under a thousand subscribers. And in the last, this month I've gained 1,300 viewing hours, which when you want to get monetized, that is very important. Okay. So that's just the basics there. I never look at this stuff down here. It just kind of tells you what you're doing. And also it breaks down what you uh, make. So this one's kind of a bad example, but because normally right over here next to trends or before trends, you have revenue and that's where you could click and see how much you've made. This channel is not monetized yet. So that is not here, but it shows your, your audience. Now this is, this is important. Okay. So this tells you where you, your views are coming from returning viewers uh, in the last month, about 802 are returning on a regular basis. And we have about 9,300 unique viewers this month. So that's definitely showing that the channel is growing Now your content. Now here is the most important thing. This is bad because there's very few people that are interested in doing this, you know, compared to let's say world according to Briggs. Your impression click-through rate. How often do people click on your video when they're shown, right? When it shows up in their search or whatever, does someone have enough time to look at it and scroll past it? Or did they click on it? 2.7%. World According Briggs is usually about 5.1. This metric, uh, I've heard different things, but they say the average is about 2.1 or 2.0 uh, up to about 5. So that's the average. If your video is getting 10%, you're knocking it out of the park. So basically, they've showed this to, there's my views. I've gotten almost 18,000 views this month. And my impressions, they showed it over 500,000 times. So that's that's how it is. Now, what affects this? There are two, th three things that affect this stat. And this is one of your most important stats or analytics you could look at. It is telling you what they thought about the thumbnail, what they thought about your title, and what they thought about your subject matter. All three of those are really the things that affect your click-through rate, right? So if you've got a killer thumbnail and your title is kind of gets their attention, like right now on this video, as you clicked on it, I threw the word addiction up there for a reason. because People will see that and they'll want to see what the drama is. So they'll click on the video. Now, there is a little bit of addiction story to this, which we'll get to later. Uh, it's not desperate addiction, like I told you earlier, but it's, it's becomes a problem. We'll get into that. But so you throw things like that on your thumbnail and people will click on the video. Works really well. If you already got established audience like world according to Briggs, if I throw anything, you know, negative up on a video, whether it's the title and the thumbnail or one or the other, I'm going to get some clicks. So this is the most important thing you want to look at later on. I spend too much time looking at how much money I made. Like I said, that's going to be on the revenue tab up here. it's actually, the, they kind of show it in a little thing over here too for um, just a brief overlook. But if you want to get into the details of it, you go over to revenue and it shows everything revenue. Now over here in the overview, it's one of my favorite things I spend a lot of time doing, seeing what this channel is doing right now. So that's last 60 minutes. We've gotten only 23 views. This channel is still just growing. I didn't upload today. Uh, after I upload, it's going to jump up a little bit. So there's an upload right over here. This shows the 48 hours over here. And that's when we uploaded. That's when we live streamed yesterday. And then it just kind of falls down. Now, what you ideally would like it to do, obviously you want it up, you know, 10,000 straight across the board like Mr. Beast, but that's not realistic. Right now, World According to Briggs, for instance, is probably rocking out about uh, 200,000. Uh, each day. So about 400,000 uh, last 48 hours. And about this time of night, I'm and it was an upload date, I'm probably seeing 10,000 views right now, or maybe in between 10 and 15,000 right now. So this is very important. You scroll down and it shows you which videos are getting those views. Now, again, World According to Briggs, much more established and larger channel. These are all, you know, this one's probably... The top one was probably, let's go by 60 minutes, see what we've got. Okay, so this one's got five. World According to Briggs right now, I'm looking at it on my phone. That one has, the top one has 4,500 views right now, the last hour. 
The one right below it is 1500 and then the one below that is 800, 8, well, 759, and then we drop down to the 400. So that's what this channel is, World According Briggs is rocking right now. This channel right here, uh, just a bunch of fives and fours and stuff like that. But it's catching on. Like you, like you saw, we're getting a lot more subscribers, so give it some time, and this will change. And that's the idea. This is the reason I'm showing you this is let you know that this is what it looks like in the beginning, but you build on it. Okay, you build on it. Most important thing you got to know. Another thing that's important down here is you want to go to, uh, well, here's your earn. Since it's not, if you go to earn right now, you just start your channel. It tells you where you stand. Like I've got more than enough subscribers. You need 5,000 to get basic ad or basic uh, monetization. And you have to have at least three uploaded, three uploads every 90 days. So that's covered. But you have to have one of the following, and that's either 3 million short views or 3,000 viewing hours. Now, that gets you things like memberships and super chats and stuff like that. But for full monetization, you're going to need 4,000 watch hours and about one or not about, but 1,000 subscribers or 10 million shorts views. OK, so this is what we're shooting for. This channel, I think before we start uploading daily, I think we we're sitting on like 40 views per hour. I don't think I uploaded this channel in over a year. So it was doing nothing. Change the name, new content. It's on its way. Okay. So then, of course, community guidelines or community, community guidelines, just your community. This tells you what shows you the comments people are leaving, right? Excellent. So you just look. Wish I had missed it. Denzel. Denzel's a good buddy of mine. He's over there on uh, World Corner Briggs all the time. One of my longest subscribers and most active participants in the chat and all that stuff. Some people that left the questions, you know, so this shows you the video the comment came from. And this one was the post I made. Uh, ask questions about for the Q&A. So anyway, that's that. Now let's talk about the addiction thing I was talking about. Now, if you don't know, I had a stroke back in October, right? And they figured it was just stress and sleep deprivation related. And a lot of my stress came from being addicted to the analytics of my channels, okay? I would look at it about every 15 minutes all day long, all day long. If I went to the movies at least once during the movie, I'd have to look down and see where my stats are, okay? It can be a problem, especially when you start making money, because to see that you're just growing money while you're taking a nap, you know, you go take a shower, you come out and you look, oh, I made an extra five dollars. You know, that's how it is. And it will suck you in and you will spend far too much time looking at it if you're not careful. Now, you're going to do it in the beginning and you should watch it a little too often. Are in the you know you, you, there's sure there should be a certain amount of obsession with it okay rolling all over myself because that's how you're going to learn and that's how it's going to get better and that's how you're going to get better you have to study these things you have to understand them and it's really important but once you get the gist of it after a few months back off a little bit uh, I know one girl she says she looks at it in the morning she might look at it at lunch and she might look at it before she goes to bed sometime. She said, no more than that. Some people say they look at it every Friday. That is it or something of that nature, okay? Because if anything's going on on your channel, there's nothing you could do if you were looking every 15 minutes. So, because let's say one of your videos are tanking, right? Um, give it some time. You know, it could be not tanking two hours from now. So when you look at it, go, oh, this video hasn't been doing good. I got some time. Maybe I'll go throw up a uh, new thumbnail on it, which... YouTubers do that all the time. We give new thumbnails. If a thumbnail's not working or a new title, we switch it. Uh, Mr. Beast does it all the time. They actually have a thing here when you upload a channel, a video, to where you could pick your thumbnail you want to use. So it gets us to something I forgot to mention. This button up here is the most important thing. Let's say you've done your video. You've created. How do you put it up on YouTube? It's this simple. You hit the create button. You can upload the button or you can upload a video. You can go live. You could create a post. You could create a playlist or a podcast. I, I see no difference between podcast and upload a normal video, but it's there. I think eventually it's going to be doing something else. So you hit upload video. 
you select a file. Let's here's one I recorded yesterday. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be released. I'm just putting it up real quick. So once it goes up, then boom. Here's where you go to your test and compare. You've already made your, your uh, thumbnails. So you just add three that you think will work. You know, the ones you worked on, hopefully. And um, throw those bad boys up here. It's that simple. So yeah, watch out. Don't become obsessed with the creator studio and your analytics. It's good to be on top of it. But don't let it run your life. You'll end up like me in the hospital because you had a stroke, okay? It's a minor stroke. Uh, they called it a TAI or TIA. Wasn't the end of the world, um, but it could have been. Now, I'm not saying just looking at that was the reason. There was other factors, but I do believe a lot of my stress, a lot of my stress came from staring at that community tab or that um, my analytics far too often. It's got to be, you know, you, you got, everything's in moderation. Everything in the world's moderated. I mean, the Chinese used yin and yang as an example, and there's a lot more that goes into that, but you get the idea. Everything's got a positive, everything's got a negative. You can't have too much of something. I mean, you have too much love, and that's basically obsession. You have too much water, you drowned. You have too much money, everyone else doesn't have money, and then you're the only rich dude. You know, uh, there's all kinds of things. Like you, get, you can have all the food you want, you know, but too much is too much. And just with this too, looking at it, is too much and it'll wear you down. Okay. Have a balance. All right, everyone. You have a great day. If there's any questions, any more details you want to go over about this, let me know in the comment section below and we'll go through that. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Be nice to each other.